Star, it's Miss Amanda from the library. Today we're going to read about the world's most fearless scientist, Eugene Clark, also known as Shark Lady. Shark Lady, the true story of how Eugene Clark became the ocean's most fearless scientist. Written by Jesse Keating. Illustrated by Marta Alvarez McGuinness. It was Saturday and Eugene wanted to stay at the aquarium forever. She wanted to smell the damp salty air and stare at the glittery rainbow fish. She wanted to keep watching her favorite animals, the sharks. Eugene pretended she was walking on the bottom of the sea what would it be like to swim with her sharks? To breathe underwater with gills of her own? More than anything, she wanted to find out. When the summer came, Eugene's mother took her to swim at the beach in Atlantic City. Stuffing sticky gum into her ears to keep the water out, Eugene dove down, down, down. The salt stung her eyes, but she didn't want to miss a single fish. Constellations of sea stars speckled the pebbled sand. She imagined a silvery fin standing strong on her back, slicing through the ocean current. To others, sharks were ugly and scary, but Eugene knew they were beautiful. As she glided through the cool water, she wished everyone could see sharks through her eyes. But the sharks were only in her mind for now. Eugene decided to learn everything she could about them, so she dove. This time into books. Whale sharks, nurse sharks, tiger sharks, lemon sharks. Eugene wanted to know about them all. She also joined the Queens County Aquarium Society as its youngest member. Eugene's notebook filled with sharks. They swam in her daydreams and on the margins of her pages. At home, Eugene's mother surprised her with an aquarium of her own. A 15 gallon tank was much too small for sharks, but Eugene saved her allowance to buy guppies, clownfish, and coral red snails. It felt as big as an ocean in her room. Their small apartment became an aquarium, a laboratory, and a sanctuary. As she grew older, many were still telling Eugene what to do, Forget those sharks. Be a secretary. Be a housewife. Eugene wanted to study zoology, but some of her professors thought women weren't smart enough to be scientists or brave enough to explore the oceans. And they said sharks were mindless monsters. Eugene knew better. Her dream was as big as a whale shark. So again, Eugene dove. She plunged into every course she could. Her laboratory became her home. From sunrise to sunset, she studied how fish grow, how they behave, and how they were put together, both inside and out. Despite all of the people who didn't believe in her, Eugene was becoming one of the smartest students in her field, even after she earned her a degree. Many still doubted her. But Eugene's work was just beginning. Eager to make discoveries of her own, Eugene finally dove into the open ocean. In the Red Sea, Eugene collected hundreds of fish, including three new species that had not been discovered before. The Red Sea Sand Diver, the Bard Xena Pipefish, and the Volcano Triplefin. On a research mission exploring the Palua Islands, Eugene was diving alone when she encountered her first ever wild shark. She wasn't afraid. Instead, she thought it was beautiful. On Isla Mueres, she dispelled the myth that sharks must keep moving to stay alive when she swam through dark caves, still and silent, full of resting sharks. Eugene's daring heart grew bolder with each dive. Soon, they began to call her Shark Lady. Eugene had proven she was smart enough to be a scientist and brave enough to explore the oceans. As her courage grew, 
She began to love and understand her beloved sharks more and more, but she never forgot. Many still believed that sharks were mindless killers. Because of their scary reputation, humans were hunting sharks all over the world. Eugene knew that sharks weren't stupid or mean. She was determined to prove everyone wrong. Eugene fished through her mind and devised a brilliant experiment. Could she train a shark the way a person trains a dog? Were sharks much smarter than anyone knew? They were. Eugene was the first scientist in the world to train sharks and even learned they could remember their training for at least two months after. Sharks were not mindless killers. Sharks were beautiful. Sharks were smart. They deserve to be studied, protected, and loved. And Eugene's dream was now a dream come true. Shark bites. Dangerous monsters? No way. There are over 400 species of shark. And of these, only about a dozen are known to be dangerous to humans. And encounters are extremely rare. The truth is, Despite their fearsome reputation, humans are much more dangerous to sharks than they are to us. Every year, humans kill more than 100 million sharks. It's important to treat sharks with respect, but there is no need to fear them. Sleep tight? Eugene once swam in a cave full of peaceful, resting sharks suspended in the water. But were they really sleeping? Sharks breathe by using their gills to extract oxygen from water. Eugene noticed that the caves with sleeping sharks had more oxygen than usual. She believed that the extra oxygen would make it easier for motionless sharks to breathe, so they didn't need to swim to pass water over their gills. Before confirming this discovery, most believed that sharks had to keep swimming to stay alive. No toothbrush here. Sharks have impressive teeth arranged in rows along their gums. These teeth are constantly being grown and move forward in their mouths like a conveyor belt. Was Eugene afraid of sharks because of their sharp teeth? No way! She was only bitten once in her life, and the encounter didn't happen underwater. Once, on her way to a school visit, with the mounted jaws of a tiger shark beside her in the car, Eugene had to stop quickly at a red light. As she reached across the seat to stop the jaws from tumbling forward, the teeth chomped into her arm. Sneaky skin. Sharks can move extremely fast in the water, and the secret to their speed is their skin. Shark skin is made up of dermal denticles, which are more like teeth than fish scales. Some swimsuit designers have even created swimsuits that mimic shark skin to help Olympians swim faster in the water. Mermaid purses. Some sharks give birth to live young. Others, like the dogfish, produce unique egg sacs that sustain their young. These leathery sacs are known as mermaid purses, and they provide the young shark embryo with a safe place to grow. Sometimes it's possible to find a mermaid's purse on the shore if you look carefully. Life at the top. Sharks are apex predators. This means they're at the very top of the food chain in the ocean. Because of this, they play an important role in keeping food webs and prey populations in balance. Without sharks, ocean ecosystems would collapse. Sharks are old, very old. The first shark appeared over 400 million years ago and their ancestors are still around today. They have survived five major extinction events, including one 65 million years ago that destroyed the dinosaurs.